Well, hello everybody. How are you today? It's Sharon here and I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff. Welcome to another live here on the Essential Stencil page. Uh, let me just see if I can get some comments going here. If I can see them. Let me know where you're tuning in from if you are watching the live today. And if you're watching the replay, don't forget to uh, comment the word replay and you will also get a chance to win some prizes. At the end of our live, we always, uh, oh, there we are. I can see it now and I'm just going to play that so I can see your comments because I like to interact with you guys as we're going along. Excuse me just a second. All right, I can see you now. Joyce Ann, Cindy, Leona. Yep. Oh, thank you so much, Leona. She says sprinkled and that's code word for hitting that little share button and sharing the live with other people who might be interested in watching a DIY stenciling tutorial today. We're going to be using these fun little chalkboards that I found just in a dollar store here in Australia. Yes, that's where I'm from. If you're new here to Essential Stencil, uh, I am one of the ambassadors here. There's uh, we go live five days a week, Monday through Friday. And so um, if you're on Essential Stencils email list, you'll be able to see, um, get those notifications of when we're all going live. But this is my regular time spot. So welcome here to Wednesday night in the USA. It's Thursday morning here in Australia. Uh, so, and we have just started spring and you guys are probably heading into fall. So I will open up this second one. And um, on the description of our live at the top there, I've put links to the different stencils that I'll be using today. See, this is just a, an actual little chalkboard set, a little kitty chalkboard set. And I thought it'd make a great fun little farmhouse sign if you just, if we just paint our stencil in the center there. Oh, we've got people from all over, Tennessee, Iowa. Yay, thank you, Louisiana. More from Iowa. <laughs> Okay, so I've got two chalkboards that I'm going to be stenciling today. Um, they do come with a little duster and chalk, so we may still use that um, for this project or, or it can be still used with one of the signs that I'm making today. I thought I'd make a cute menu on one of them, like so, and then we'll um, play with some of the Southern Charm six pack mini stencils here today. So we've got those ones. And then I'm gonna also use these and show you how to place your lettering for the two inch skinny letters that you can see there. And they come, that's a set, a two, two pack set. So it also has numbers on the back and some other symbols there. So we'll be using those. The other thing I did wanna try if we get time, because I've just got a fairly simple project with the chalkboards today, but for those of you in the Stencil of the Month Club, I really wanted to have a go at um, using the plaid stencil. That's the add-on feature for this month's Stencil of the Month Club. And I think we can, you can still order that. I think that's still shipping. Essential Stencil will be able to confirm that with me. That if you do get the, what one what month are we in? September Stencil of the Month Club set. If you do order, you can use my code, I Restore Stuff. get 50% off your very first month if you have not joined. And you can opt in for the add-on to get this plaid. So I wanted to use, and I'll show you this later. I have some cardboard here that was from, I don't know, a moving box. We moved in February and I still have a bunch of boxes because we are building. And um, good news on that front. So for those of you who are following my Instagram stories uh, and over on Facebook page, we have bought some land and the land is finally um, cleared and registered with council and it looks like a cute little suburban block now. So now we're ready to build. So that's exciting. We've chosen, chosen, yes, all the colors and all of the tiles and all of the things for the house. So that's all now. Now we just got to wait for the builders to start building. Anyway, moving boxes and cardboard. I've just painted a red side here because I'm going to hopefully use that and I want to try something and I haven't even used this plaid before so you know me if you've been here for any length of time Sharon likes to wing it live <laughs> so I'm going to have a go at doing a two-toned two different colors on this let's see how we go with that all right so starting our project first of all today yeah I love that plaid too Elizabeth yes hi Tracy 
Wow, everybody's here. So excited to see you all. Feel free to share the live with others that you may know who want to watch a DIY live. We are just using these cute little chalk boards today and I'm going to measure those because you're going to ask me how big they are. Well, you can kind of see the frame size. They're quite small, but you could use this idea for any size chalk boards. In fact, I've got some of these that I found um, on my Amazon affiliate link if you wanted to use that. Yeah, so exactly 30 centimeters, which is the same as 12 inches. So 12 by, anyone want to guess? I don't even know. My, my measuring tape's in centimetres because that's how we deal in Australia. So it's 23 centimetres the other way. So it's, it's 12 inches this way. So that's probably what, 10, 8, 8 by 12. Looks like a photo frame, doesn't it? Hi everybody, yes, I'm checking your comments down here on my laptop as we go. I'm just going to point you down to our project now so we can get started. And we've got two chalkboards. The first one I'm going to be using, oop, I've just got to get this in the right place so you can see, um, our Southern Charm six pack, six by six inches mini stencil set. Let me just open that and see you see. Um, show you what they all are okay who has ordered their fall uh the brand new from the brand new fall collection and essential stencil will probably put that link up soon for the fall collection you can still pre-order i think is it wednesday night yeah uh so they start shipping tomorrow so you can still order pre-orders right now on the site use my code i restore stuff and get 10% off your entire order. So there's that. All right, we've got Southern Charm. Oop, that doesn't work that way. I'll have to do this. Bless Your Heart. Sweet Tea. And I thought that might be a good fun one for my sign here. So let's just leave that there for the moment. Hey, y'all. So these minis are great for this size of a chalkboard. Sweet Southern mess. Where's all our Southern folks at? Believe it or not, Marty and I used to live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana for a few years. Back in the early 90s. <laughs> Give me some sugar. Okay, so those are the cute Southern signs. I just loved living there. It was beautiful hospitality. Y'all are just wonderful <laughs> down south. Um, Sue says she ordered the full collection. Can't wait to get them. Yes, I cannot wait to get my bundle. I did, um, who said that? I ordered the bundle, Jennifer said. Can't wait to get it. All right, so let's have a look at the sweet tea. So we are just going to do a plain white on black, which I think is just such a classic, cute farmhouse look. You could do sweet tea and then It'd be cool. Where was I thinking? There's some more um, mini sets that you could, that would be great for this. And we've got, well, let me just show you, Positive Sayings set. The, they ha have six sayings in that pack. This one is the Home Stencil Set. And they've got some gorgeous farmhousey looking signs. So just got a few out to show you that they would be great for this kind of set. And of course, there's our um, Mug Life coffee set so in fact let me just see if the, there's a mug in here but there's also a tall mug let's have a let's have a vote in the comments who loves coffee and who prefers tea where's the sweet tea people or even just hot tea and where are the coffee people just let us know in the in the comments coffee or tea guys some of you are probably like neither <laughs> Where is that mug? Okay, here it is. See, look, there's a cute mug here and I'm thinking we could, I wonder if we could fit that there. Hmm, almost. If I slide that right across. I was thinking without using the words mug life in there, it might work well. Let's see if we can shift it right over. Uh, just on its own here without the words inside. Sweet tea and then fill it with ice cubes and you could even take the handle off. Oh, there's an idea. Turn it over this way and it would fit better. See, I come up with these ideas on the fly. <laughs> 
All right, so we could do a tall glass of sweet tea right there, fill it with ice cubes. You could even draw them in chalk. Okay, who have we got? Some that, yeah, some people are saying neither. There's tea people, both, coffee. Hi, Mary, Mary Jo Bell. Sweet tea down in North Carolina. Tea, but not sweet. See, this is one thing that I did notice in when we lived in the States. I did live in Oklahoma for a while. I felt like the further north you travel, the less sweet the tea is. Is that correct? Would you say the same? And down south, the tea was way sweeter. When we were in Louisiana and further south, it felt like the further south we went, the sweeter the tea. Yes, someone else, coffee in the morning, iced tea the rest of the day. There you go, Debbie. There's a compromise. I definitely feel like I'm more of a coffee person now than I used to be. I used to be more of a tea person. Okay, my lid just taking that off there this is just a white acrylic paint a mineral paint that i use for furniture painting actually because that's what i do my blog is called i restore stuff if you're new here and you can follow me over on facebook or on instagram all of the places pinterest okay to do our white lettering if someone said yes you're right about the the sweet tea I would say that too yes thank you I thought it was something is that just because I haven't been to less places or what but I just kind of noticed that um, the further north you go the le less sweet the tea all right so we're offloading our brush I'm using one of essential stencils this is a three-quarter brush here oops get some focus there let's get a little bit more paint on the brush and I'm moving my sweet tea sign right over because I want to do that idea with the tall glass. Look, we could even put some lemons in the glass, couldn't we? Iced lemon too. Who likes lemon with their tea? All right, I'm not going to tape it, but you could. Just holding my hand firmly on here. I've removed most of the paint from the bristles. Okay, so that's what we call a dry brush method. And what I can see, just a minute, is just on the stencil there, one of the little... Um, pieces hadn't quite come out when it was made, manufactured. There we go. All right, so starting over on the edge here, and I'm being very careful not to, what we could do, just to show you, is on this um, wooden part here, it does look quite close to the edge. So, so that we don't get, I don't get my paint brushed accidentally against the edge. Let's see. Yana says bulletproof coffee, iced coffee, sweet tea cold, but love hot tea with heavy cream. Wow, you've got like a little menu going there. All right, so I'm just um, doing a bit of a swirling method. You can pounce it if you like. I just find once you've uh, cleaned or wiped most of the excess paint off the brush, the swirling seems to work well for me. And you know what? I am going to tape over this other side because I feel like when I swirl next to that letter T, it's just a little bit close to the edge. Now I'm going to put the tape a couple of times down. You can do that on wood or on fabric just to lose some of that stickiness so that it doesn't peel off too heavy. All right, dipping my paintbrush in again. Yes, Diana says leave off the handle so it looks like a glass. Yes, that's what I was thinking at the, towards the end there just to make it like a tall glass and flip it over the other way so I can move it across a bit more. We'll show you that in just a minute. Yes, yeah, so it's amazing the things that you can find um, just in thrift stores or dollar stores that you can stencil on. And here's one of those things. I've had these sitting in the wings for a, a couple of weeks. Um, I often just, as I'm shopping, will find things that I automatically now just think I could stencil that anyone else does anyone else go shopping and I'll see things that they could just stencil on fabric things you know tea towels I'm just going to add a little bit more you could wait for that to dry and do a second coat and I like I do actually like the way that it's not full fully we would say full coverage um, <clears throat> It gives it a chalky look, so it is looking like it's actually a chalk board. So the idea of this is it's not chalk, it's paint, so it's not meant to come off. So there's our nice sweet tea. 
right here and we'll add that tall glass on the side. So to do that, let's set this aside and just tape off some things because we're going to need to tape off. So if you have a brush and you're going to use it, like I will in a minute, I don't want, it's quite dry already, so I don't want it to dry out too much. So I've just got a wet cloth and I'm just gonna wrap that in the wet cloth and we'll just reuse this tape and tape off that handle. So we're gonna make it like a nice tall glass. I wonder if there's ice cubes somewhere in a stencil. I don't know, has anyone seen ice cubes? I don't re recall any, so. Is this too long? No, we've got it. I mainly need to, oops, we're just missing just a touch at the top there. You can see that, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. I don't need to worry too much about the insides. It's just these. Okay. All right, so now we have ourselves a tall glass of iced tea and because this is still a chalk board, you could draw little ice cubes with white chalk in there if you wanted to. Hi Lorraine, says she's joining late. That's okay, anytime. We can always catch the replay, can't we? Okay, so the handle was over here. So I've taped off the handle because, oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna put it, move it over. I can still do that. It doesn't matter that the tape is on the underside. Um, but I kind of want it, so we're gonna make the mug, well, let's call it a glass now, so that it goes either side of this, the sweet tea stencil. Just dipping my brush in again. Sonia says, just came from Hobby Lobby with a lot of ideas and prices, awesome. <laughs> Elizabeth, I love it. That's because we're strong, hearty folks up north. We can take our tea without sugars. <laughs> So funny. If you've just joined, we were just talking about sweet tea. And I was saying how when I lived in the States, I noticed the further south you traveled, the sweeter the tea. Okay, here we have a nice tall glass. Hopefully it still looks like a glass when I'm finished stenciling on here. I haven't taped it down, so I'm holding it very firmly with my hand. Okay, a little bit more paint on there. Oh, just shifted it slightly. We've got you. Okay, you can go long ways when you've got these long sections on here. In a minute, I've got the, uh, does anyone have the two inch skinny letters? I'll be using those in just a minute to create a menu board. on my other chalkboard that we've got here. So here it is, let's see. Nice tall glass of iced tea. You know what, you could even just leave it like that and then, you know, add some words in there, add a little message or whatever, or we could add some lemons in it. Lemons, lemon iced tea, how about that? Oops. I would have to, where's that? Probably have to use some of this tape. To tape off the T there. Now is lemon gonna to float to the top or is it going to be sitting halfway through? I'm not sure where to put my lemons. They could be sitting on top of the glass. You know how they sit it on the side? I don't know. I think we'll leave the lemons off for now. I could fail at this. <laughs> Let me know. Oops, I'm not seeing comments coming. Um, hang on a second, just make sure it's all running smoothly. Oh, yep, I can see them here now. Yes, so you could put the lemons on, you could create little ice cubes. Um, you could even use that mug 
corners to create, I don't know, little ice cubes. I'm sure there's a square somewhere in all of essential stencil stencils that you could use for that. So there's one. Let's grab our other one. <clears throat> and once again, if we've got a brush here that we want to keep wet and we don't want it to dry out completely, don't forget to remove all of your tape after you've used your stencils. And I'm just going to pop my um, stencils into the sink to clean. Yes, Yana says draw some ice cubes and add lemons if you like. You could. So it's a cute little space that you could um, write a little love note. If anyone's got, there's a little mini pack, mini set of the Valentines. You could have some cute messages on signboards with that one. <clears throat> okay, so remember I turned this over and taped the words and I taped the handle off just to create this glass on the side of the sweet tea sign. So we could fill it with ice cubes with chalk a little bit later. And then we used the sweet tea from, and that's from the sweet, no, from the Southern Charm stencil set. Okay, that's a six pack set. So we'll set that aside with those ones. And here are the skinny letters that I was talking about before. So we're gonna make this sign go up this way and create a bit of a, a menu. Kitchen, for a kitchen, it could be for uh, coffee, coffee uh, or a tea, what do you call it? What am I trying to say? Coffee station or something like that. You could create a little menu for a coffee station. Actually, let me show you one we did. We just had one of those felt boards in my kitchen. I'm just going to go around and grab it here a second. Um, it's one of those felt boards that you use the little letters to create the sign, but you could very well do something like this for a stencil. Let me just pop this up for a second. We had this fun idea. So you could use your stenciling letters to do something like that. You know the felt boards where you pop the letters in? So we have this in our kitchen that sits at the back behind the coffee station. And these are actually, the girls made this, made all the letters. These are actually all our different coffee orders. I think mine is, mine is the extra almond milk for an extra 50 cents. So <laughs> there's an idea that you can actually use your stencil letters for some of those things. <clears throat> All right, let's go with our uh, stenciling the letters. Sometimes we do get questions about how do you line up those letters together? Well, we've only got four letters for the word menu to go across the top here. So, but, um, I do, and we do have, several of us have done lives let's see well i need this one you nope um lives showing how you can um, line up your letters so you can look at the what am i looking for menu so the u is going to be here n and e so we want to start i like to start from the center and work out. So we've got two letters in the center and then two either side so that we don't start our M over here too far and space them all apart too much. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> all right, so don't forget if you're ordering any of the new fall set or any of these stencils that I'm demonstrating today, you can use the code I restore stuff and get 10% off. Your whole order, that includes brushes, the little wooden tag sets, that kind of thing. So we've got the N, uh, no, the E and the N are going to be our centre letters. So I'm just going to guess where that centre line is and I want my E to be on the left of the centre line. And this is a board that has a, a bit of a lip or an edge on it, so I'm going to have to push that down as much as I can to get my stenciling on there nicely. Okay, adding some paint. Now what Essential Stencil has done is they've spaced their letters apart far enough so that you don't have to be taping off all the next letters. We've got great area here, really good spacing 
so that we can get around it without having to tape off edges. So what I'll do is hold that really firmly with my other hand. Whoops, I do feel like I've got too much on the brush. So hopefully it won't bleed under the stencil. Um, but if you're brand new to stenciling, I always recommend practicing on a cardboard or a, like my paper here, you could practice on something like that. Okay, there's our E. So it's just to the left. I'm upside down, so I'm trying to figure out am I left or right. Um, Missy says that's why I cut my stencil apart. So some of you cut your stencils apart. I don't like to do that because I feel like there's then too many little letters all over the place and it's a bit harder to find them all. So I like to just do it, leave them on there. Okay, we put the N right next to the E and I'm kind of looking for that imaginary center line. You could, you know, put a pencil mark there or something like that. So oh, in my head, seriously, I always doubt myself. I'm going, am I spelling this correctly? You will shout out at me, won't you guys? <laughs> shout out at me if I'm spelling things wrong. I have make, almost made that mistake on a live before on a suitcase that I was stenciling. That was fun. Okay, we've got M, E, N, U. So now we do our M. Now the thing is too that sometimes so the letter M could be a little bit wider than our U. So we may have it too heavy over this side. Let's do the U first and see. Trying to get the spacing right, doing a little visual, but you could, like I said, trace it out or measure it out. I'm just a little bit lazy when it comes to measuring. So notice I haven't filled my brush up again yet. I'm just using the paint that's been on there the whole time. And we've still got plenty to go. There we go. E N U. Seriously, I have to look. Okay, yes, it's okay. <laughs> and now we've got the letter M, which we can fit here. So I probably could have shifted the E across a little bit. Probably does pay to measure, Sharon. Uh, we wing it. In a minute, I want to show you, I'm going to have a go at, <laughs> this is me, trialing and erroring, trial and error. I need to push this down further. I'm going to have a go at using that plaid stencil that came with the Stencil of the Month Club set, the add-on actually. So if you opted to get the add-on, there was that plaid. Has anyone used that yet? Has anyone used the plaid? I've seen some great looks in the Stencil of the Month Club. If you're in the club, Make sure you're in the Facebook group because there's so much inspiration in there. And if you do, if you're not in the Stencil of the Month Club, you can join today and use my code IRESTOREStUFF and get 50% off your very first month. And if you order today, you will still get the September set, which you can opt to get the add-on. All right, so we probably are a little bit that way, but hey, look, there's the menu. We could even, now where's that, uh, the mug, we could even do a line going across, or you could find a line. Let's see, we've got that plaid, or let's see if we can make a line out of this, exclamation mark. That might be interesting. I'll even include the little dot just for fun. <clears throat> So then you could write down in the kitchen each night what's for dinner or let your guests know what's for dinner. Well, that looks fun, doesn't it? I probably, I may, I could even just leave a little gap there or I could join it up. Let's see if we can join it. What I'm going to do is go over, maybe you can't see that far. I'm going to go over the end of the last little bit before I then, I'm lengthening the stencil. Oh, I'm probably gonna see a join here because of, oh, maybe not. And then I'm gonna move it across a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit of a join, that's okay. Try and dry that as much as I can. And these, because they're those, um, sort of like a handwritten font, these skinny letters, they don't, they're not perfect and so they have little wonky bits in them which is making it hard for me to line up actually but this dot finished on the U so I want this dot to finish on the M 
the end of the M. So I'm trying to line that up. I've just lengthened the line a little bit. Let's see how we go with that. You could always just hand paint a line in there, but I think that looks kind of cute. So there we go. Just made that line using the exclamation mark at the end of the letters. That was a bit of fun. Um, but of course, there are lots of different flourishes on all the different stencil sets that Essential Stencil has. There's so many there. Uh, if you're looking for something in particular on the stencil site, you can always just type in the search bar. So if you're looking for fall ideas, type in fall. If you're looking for Christmas, if you're looking for hearts, type in hearts. If you're looking for patterns, you could type in patterns. So there's that one. So imagine you can just write then with your chalk um, all the different things on that. And here's the one we did earlier. Guys, don't forget that if you are watching the replay, you can um, type in the word replay and you will uh, get another chance at winning prizes here at Essential Stencil. But stay tuned right to the end because we'll be giving out prizes at the end. All right, so that was a quick little demo and I've got some time left. So let's have some fun and play with this plaid that belongs to the September Stencil of the Month Club set. Actually, it's the add-on. So if you don't, if you didn't order the add-on, you may have to just jump into the Stencil of the Month Club if you're in that. I'm just gonna set these over here. <clears throat> okay, so here's that fun plaid. <laughs> Pat, that's so funny said I'd use that to tell someone else what I want for supper. <laughs> Pam said she's excited to see what the stencil of the month will be. It's always a bit of fun to see what the next month is going to be, isn't it? All right, just be really gentle with these ones with patterns and lines because you can see they're, um, oops, they get stuck a little bit as they're coming out of the packet on the sticky stuff. So we'll just fold that back and slide it out gently. There's a section here where there's no bridges, and so that makes it a little bit more flimsy than the, the rest. All right, so I've painted a background of, it's kind of like a burgundy red. Here's the example that they have on the back here. So their Stencil of the Month Club sets always come with great visuals, and, and um, we, of course, demo them each month in, on our Facebook Lives as ambassadors here. All right, just got to make some room. Okay, I think I'm finished with the white because I want to go with a black and a yellow. Let's see if I can do something. Okay, Brenda used it on a small sign. Hi, Mary. You've got the plaid, Janice, but you haven't used it yet. Well, neither have I. So <laughs> let's have fun and play with it together. This is my practice cardboard. I don't know if you remember. I'll turn it over and show you the back. The back has where I practiced um, some more stenciling ideas and I've I showed these on a live uh, sometime this year so you can go back and look through the video section right here on Essential Stencils Facebook page and you can find my playlist it'll be under Sharon's playlist and that'll show you all the different lives that I've ever done for Essential Stencil okay so that red feels dry I just literally painted it before I went live this morning and it's all dry now. So I'm gonna put that firmly in place with this tape. Once again, if you've just joined us, we are, we are um, showing you just the add-on for the Stencil of the Month Club. We've created a couple of chalkboards. I'm gonna use a, a black paint and I also wanna use some yellow but what I think I might do is just do all of the black first and then add the yellow on top of the black as a bit of a feature at the end that's the idea I had in my head let's see how that all works out shall we so this is the 7 8 inch brush they come instead of four the essential stencil brushes so if you're looking for brushes on the essential website just type in the word brushes and it will find them for you in the search search bar I'm just offloading. This is just a black mineral paint. 
that I stock here in Australia, but you can use any craft paint. Deborah says, I like the plaid. Can't wait to see it in two colors. Me neither. I've, I don't know if I've seen it in two colors. I'm pretty sure someone's done it in the Stencil of the Month Club, but I don't remember. <clears throat> okay, so you're just going around here. There's um, lines going all sorts of ways. So instead of swirling, I'm just gonna kind of go with the lines. This big, large area here, it's quite large. we can just go back and forth on. And especially because you'll see slight movement there because there's no bridges in this section. By bridges, you know what I mean by bridges? They're the, uh, when you put letters together, they have a little bridge to stop the letters from, you know, like if you've got an O, you need to have that bridge holding the center of the O so that it doesn't get, it's not just one big circle defines it. Hi Pam, just joining. Awesome. We've just done a couple of projects so you'll have to catch the replay for those ones. So doing some chalkboard signs. Right now I'm just having a good old go at creating plaid using the plaid stencil from the Stencil of the Month Club. I'm pretty sure this would have been a really popular add-on in the club this month. <coughs> So um, I'm going to try two colours. The other colour I wanted to try was yellow on here. Oop, so I'm just going to hold that down right like that. I'm going just in the direction of all of the lines. And I usually recommend um, less is more paint on your brush. And so if you're finding that the color is not really super solid and you would like better coverage, then just know that you can always go over it with a second coat of that same color. But if we put too much on our brush to start with, then you do risk having the paint bleed under the stencils. And we don't want that because it causes fuzzy edges. It can sometimes, you know, the paint all joins up and makes a mess underneath the stencil. So we want to make sure, and that's what I, I'm offloading over here. We want to make sure that that's not going to happen. So we offload as much on the brush as we can. And if we need a second coat, we can always go back and do that in a minute. <laughs> Mary said she's glad I'm doing this one. Yeah, some of the stencils you can kind of think, oh wow, that looks overwhelming. Not sure how I'd use that. <clears throat> it will make a great background for a sign too. So if I do this, say I've got the red, I've got the black, and then I do that yellow, they're all sort of darker, bold colors. So if I was to do this as a background and use words, I would probably do a really stark white for the lettering to make it really pop, pop out. What do you guys associate plaid with? Do you like what season? I'm thinking winter and fall so I'm guessing that's why they put it in but most of the time you see it winter and fall. It would be great for a Christmas idea I think. You could do a red and green plaid. But take your time and just go. Yes, so if you've just joined and you're wondering where this one is, yeah, it's just an extra $10 um, for the add-ons each month from the Stencil of the Month Club. So if you are in the Stencil of the Month Club and you didn't get the add-on, I believe that you can email Essential Stencil and have them add it on. I'm not sure how that works. Or it will be in the shop at a later date, possibly. So, <clears throat> and if you haven't joined the Stencil of the Month Club and you want to do so, if you do so today, I believe you can still get this September's stencil set, which is uh, a lot of fall. There's a couple of fall stencils, some Halloween, and 
<clears throat> if you watch any of the lives in the last week or so, a few of us have been showing the other stencils that are on that set for the stencil of the month club. So once we've done the black, this is a mineral paint which is very similar to chalk paint, the furniture paints, they dry very quickly. So once we're finished here, it'll start, you know, it'll be pretty much dry on the top side there. Then I want to probably tape off some of the sections that I don't want to paint yellow. <coughs> Shall we have a little sneak peek at how we're going here? Maybe I'll just lift up this a little bit so you can have a sneak peek. How's that looking? Isn't that great? I do have a little bit of bleeding underneath, so I must have a little bit too much on my brush in some of this section here. Trying to rush it isn't always the best thing. <clears throat> But when you're working live, I don't like to wait, make you guys wait. So <laughs> it's a bit tricky. I try and rush things and then end up making mistakes, but that's okay. Linda says, I can learn so much from these live videos. That is correct. Yes, um, Essential Stencils just posted a comment there saying that if you um, have any issues with your Stencil of the Month Club, you can email them at support at essentialstencil.com. Uh, Gloria says it's summer here it's actually spring so we usually have our seasons change well our season dates on the first of the month so the first of September here was spring officially in Australia so the three months September October November are spring and then we've got December January February summer for us so we're heading into the warmer months now where I live in Queensland, it's kind of probably a little bit more like Florida weather, quite warm and tropical. We never see snow here in the winter time. So our winters are always quite mild. And of course we are south of the equator. And so the further south you go, the closer you get to one of the, the South Pole. So it's obviously the further south you go, the colder it is. So our Southern states um, often, a lot colder and they get the snow down there in the mountains. And that's your Australian geography lesson for today. <laughs> yes, Tammy, this is the September Stencil of the Month Club add-on. I um, just wanted to, last week I was talking about, I'd love to have a go at this plaid, so I thought why not just tack it onto the end of my live today. Um, if you missed it earlier, I'll show you the signs that we ma we've made so far in just a minute. <coughs> And stick around guys, because we've got prizes to give away as we do every time we go live. <clears throat> All right, we're done with that. Let's have a look at how that's turning out so far. You can see it's drying very quickly. How cool. Whoops, I've got my paint on here. I don't want to tip that off to lift it up so we can see. Now I want to put a yellow on top of that. So let's see, how am I going to do that? I want sort of uh, yellow lines to be going somewhere on here. So <clears throat> let's put that down again. Now, <clears throat> probably the better idea would have been to actually let this dry. Let me just see something and see if it's exactly the same on the reverse. I could cheat. Just for the purpose of the live, like if I was not live, oh no, it just goes off a little bit at the edge. If I was not live, I would literally clean this off, but I feel like it would take a long time and I don't want to waste your time. Look at that. See, if I turn it upside down, it's exactly the same. I want to just have a go at maybe making some of those tiny lines yellow and see how that looks. Oh, we've got, oh, that goes further down. <coughs> It's a little bit different than the other side. Mm. 
Our yellow could turn out like a little bit mustard if it's got some black on it. But anyway, let's see. Pop our lid back on for the black. Thanks, Peggy. I love how you guys are just helping each other out in the comments with all your info. <clears throat> so I'm using a chalk paint. So this is not a mineral paint, it's a chalk paint. There is a little bit of a difference. Chalk paints are, um, are still furniture paints. They're kind of made to stick really well on furniture, but chalk paints are more of a porous finish, whereas mineral paints have a built-in top coat. I'm just going to pour a little bit into this jar because our bottle doesn't fit a brush. It's probably always good to decant your paint into a container though. All right guys, what, what should I do here? I can't even feel the pressure because I had this idea and I don't know if it's going to work. Let's use a tiny brush. <clears throat> this is a half inch stencil brush with essential stencil comes in a set of four use my code i restore stuff just a reminder to get 10 percent off at the in the essentialstencil.com site and if you're looking for the stencil of the month club which is where you'll find this to join the club you get sent um three a set of three stencils every month and this is then a bonus add-on for an extra 10 bucks a month, you can have the add-on each time, which always usually coordinates with, with the stencils set. Okay, thinking, Sharon. All right, I wanna just do a bit of a yellow. I don't know how to do this without, you know, doing all the taping off, but I'm just gonna have a go and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, look, it just could work out really bad or it could work out fantastic. I'll just put a tape here. Kind of tape as I go, hey? How about that? Adding a bit of a second color. I also thought that uh, a yellow stripe down the middle of that black might be neat as well, so. Try that and try this one. Might just do half of the half of the stencil just to give you an idea of what you could do. Hopefully my paint's not going to lift up. Then I'm getting it on the other side as well, but I just wanted to have a bit of an idea of how it would work out. Yeah, Sandy says, go for it. It's only paint. That's what I tell everybody, isn't it? So, and this is only cardboard. Guys, I'm literally practicing on some cardboard here. So it's not like I should really be concerned about it if it doesn't work out. <clears throat> it's a great place to practice on. Offload, offload, offload. This is gonna be a little bit of stippling. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Ooh. Maybe we'll go over this way. Let's do this side. Just doing a couple of the little yellow stripes. I just love some of the inspiration that I'm getting from you guys who are in the Stencil of the Month Club, over in the club Facebook group. Um, there's some amazing talent there. Sandy, we appreciate you experimenting for us. That's that's right, people. It's one big experiment live here. I'm here for you. So I can make the mistakes and you don't have to. Look, in a real world, I'd be taping off all these little extra bits also. But hey, we're live and we're just having a go. Let's see what that looks like on just that section. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. I'll hold it up a little bit so you closer so you can see. Well, there we go. Interesting, interesting look. Let's see what happens if I, so see these large 
thick black lines. Oops, I've got accidentally some yellow paint there. I want to try a thin line going across there, but I'm not sure where I can find one that will go all the way across um, without taping it all off. Oh, I've got it upside down, that's right, because I was trying to get the yellow knot on there. <clears throat> okay, so let's see this, these two skinny lines here. Maybe let's do two lines. And I'm just going to put them in the center of the black. So you could do all sorts of plaid ideas with this going forward. Let's stop there and then we can join it right up. So then as I move along, if you're still with me here, let's see if we can move that along and match those two lines up with the next section. And see how you can just kind of add add to it. All right, and so then moving along, we're joining up those two sections where we've got the, the yellow coming across the black there. Just having a go. It's all fun and games when you experiment on cardboard. So it doesn't really matter if you get it wrong. Oops, we're going wonky. My line's a little crooked. Oh. I'm splattering a bit. I'm rushing. I'm rushing, guys, but it's okay. We're nearly there. Seeing what that might look like, having some lines go across it. But there's all sorts of fun ideas that you can that you can use the plaid for. So here's that look, adding a bit of yellow there to those lines in the center. Anyway, that's just something you could play with. Or you could, you know, get a ruler and literally just um, draw lines on there with some kind of paint pen if you wanted to, uh, to make them go across there. But that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Uh, so let's have a look. Let's see what we've been doing today and we're getting ready to pick some prize winners. So stay tuned to the comments and we'll let you know there. But here's what we made earlier. If you missed the first part of our live, go back and catch these ones. So we made a sweet tea sign and we could use our chalk for the chalkboard that came with it <clears throat> um, to just add some ice cubes in here or add a fun little I love you message or something like that for the kitchen. We also did use the skinny letter set that looks like that Ray Dunn font to create a menu board for the kitchen. Very simple, very sweet. Look, you could paint these or stain them. This is just raw wood on the sides of here. If you want something similar, I do have one in my Amazon shop, a link to that in the Amazon store. And then, of course, if you just saw that last little section, we had a play with the plaid. Just drop that in my kitchen sink now. Played with the plaid from the Stencil of the Month Club. So either way, if you wanna get in the club or if you wanna use my code just for the essentialstencil.com site use my code i restore stuff and you'll get 10 percent off on all of your stencil purchases this is the plaid we played with added a little bit of yellow in the lines there i'll take some photos of these and pop them in the stencil of the month club later if you're in the facebook group there if you're not in the stencil of the month club you can join using my code i restore stuff join using that and you will receive 50 percent off your very first month so guys, let's see who our winners are today. There they are, I can see them. All right, we've got Jarita. Is that how you say your name? What a beautiful name. Oops, it just, I missed it. Okay, Jarita, Sherry, and Denise. Congratulations, you guys have won some essential stencils and they'll be sending that out to you. So please email them at that email address that they've sent there and um, you will receive your prizes. So thank you guys. And if you're watching the replay, comment the word replay within the next 24 hours for another chance of winning some stencils. So thanks again for watching today. And I will see you again next Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Same time, USA time. Um, or if you're in Australia, if there's my Australian people out there, it'll be Thursday morning, 10 a.m. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you next week.